Happy Halloween! I'm just joking. That's just a cute little joke I like to do. It's Christmas. And honestly, what better way to celebrate Christmas on this channel with you guys than to watch some TLC? We were all thinking it. This better be a, a TLC Christmas video. Otherwise, unsub. First video is called Woman Squeezes 168 Christmas Trees into Every Inch of Her Home. It's street in Tulsa, Oklahoma in mid-December. Shay and her husband Thomas wake up early as usual. They freshen up, then have breakfast together as usual. Why would anybody brush their teeth and then eat breakfast? Any rational person would be like, well, that sounds like a more disgusting way to do it for sure. You know, minty coffee? Actually, that sounds uh, seasonal and delightful, but I promise you that brushing your teeth and drinking coffee is gonna taste nothing like a peppermint mocha. But what is not usual is that during the month of December, their home becomes a forest on the inside. Jesus, imagine having a fucking headache trying to walk through here. Just throbbing, just trying to make it to the Advil in back. You could turn off all the regular lights in the house and it would still be way too bright in here. I'm the caregiver of all the forest trees in this house. I'm sure she's a lovely lady. Something kind of evil looking about her. She looks kind of like the Christmas Cruella de Vil. It's literally just, it's the fluffy thing and the hairstyle. She's got an evil side, you can tell. Oh my goodness, my mom's obsession with Christmas trees is overwhelming. It's always weird when like a mother-daughter combo are trying to be like twinsies. Are you just trying to look exactly the same as your mom? She looks like when you drop your dog off to get groomed in a haircut and you pick him up and you're like, whoa, what's the little fluffy thing on the end of the tail? What's that about? Why'd you give him an afro? She looks like her name would be Fufu. Fifi even, I'd take a Phoebe to be honest with you. While 70% of all American households display a Christmas tree during the holiday season each year, Shay has 168 trees. I am insane. I mean, and I'm the first to admit that this is touches on the basis of insanity. I'm literally fucking insane, dude. You understand that? <laughs> you fuck around, I'll turn your ass into a Christmas tree, dude. How you think I got all these other Christmas trees? Those were all people at one point. All those trees she has are just, they were people who upset her at some point in her past. I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense. You didn't tell me she bought all these trees? I don't fucking buy it, dude. This is fucking clearly evil Christmas magic. I am insane. And Shay has given each and every one of her 168 artificial trees its own distinct personality. Hold up. It's a fucking, there's cigarettes on this tree. That's the theme? That's the theme you chose for this tree. Interesting. Well, clearly whoever this was before his ass was turned into a Christmas tree was a heavy smoker. Bam. You're now a fucking Marlboro Christmas tree. Its own distinct personality and theme. This is the Santa Claus room. We have four trees decorated in all Santa ornaments. Shay has trees in all shapes and sizes. We have Santa, we have reindeer, we have snowmen, and we have uh, cigarettes. The other common Christmas theme. <laughs> the largest is a 12-foot tree and uh, has five crates of ornaments and it takes 12 hours to decorate. I mean, where do you even keep all this stuff in the off-season? Like, you know what I'm saying? You'd have to get storage facilities bigger than my whole fucking apartment. When she stores this stuff, the storage container would look like it was owned by like a Christmas themed retail store. It's like an insane amount of things to have to put away at the beginning of the year. And every corner, hallway, and vestibule in Shay's three bedroom house is home to a tree. There's trees in the laundry room. There's trees in the garage. There's trees in my butt right now. I have a literal tree in my ass. Well, to be fair, it was the tree in the toilet, uh, but I sat down too fast, so. I haven't got one in a closet yet, but that could happen. There is no room too sacred. Toilet seat covers are fucking hilarious, man. Like, you gotta move Santa's face in order to drop a turd is fucking, what a strange 
You know what I mean? What a strange thing. Honestly, seems a little disrespectful to the to Father Christmas. That's your father. Yeah, <laughs> he's a fucking saint, dude. Saint Nicholas. Look at him now, covering up your fucking dookie. Unbelievable. She even has a tree that hangs upside down in her living room. Charity, Charity, what are you doing? Everything's got to go upside down. It's an upside down tree. Come on, get those things off of there. Are you crazy? <laughs> God, Charity, what are you doing? Come on, Charity. Do you want to be turned into the next tree? Because right now it seems like maybe you want to be turned into a tree. Evergreen sesame. That's how I imagine the spell would go. I kind of fuck with the upside down tree. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of sick. Every single one of Shay's trees is decorated. She has over 50,000 ornaments and a hundred thousand twinkle lights. And Shay touches every single one to make sure they're- Just to make sure that the magic doesn't wear off. Otherwise, the trees may turn back into people. To make sure they're hung just the right way. Look at this. From there to there, 11 inches. From there to there, what? Five inches, are you kidding me? And that means a minimum of 40 hours of decorating a week, on top of her full-time job as a hairdresser and the haircuts, they make a lot more sense now. The, fa <laughs> the fact that they look exactly the same, now that I know she's probably cutting the hair, really adds up. Even having the trees up for only three weeks still doubles her electricity bill, but there is a benefit. No fooling, it's 82 degrees with no heat in this house, just Christmas lights. Shay and Thomas turn off their heating system, no matter how low the temperature drops outside. 82 degrees is way too warm to be comfortable. I'm working on trying to convince her to do this like every other year, and then maybe taking the money and- Never gonna happen. And, and you know, take a vacation instead of investing the money in the decorating process. Yeah, it seems like a hard sell. Also, poor guy's just sitting there trying to watch TV. He's gotta look through a, a fucking small forest of trees just to see the lightly flickering box behind the fucking 42 trees. Sadly, a lot of Shay's Christmas cheer was lost when her parents passed away, and she has since lost touch with her siblings. It's because she turned them all into Christmas trees. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why this is the bit that I chose to do, but look, it was starting to get sad, and we don't do sad on this channel. So the love that I have for my trees is, is an extension of what I'm missing without the family being in my life. Sorry. Jesus Christ, Shay. The trees are dope. I'm sorry I said anything. I like them. I like the trees. I, for one, I'm for them. All of Shay's tree family are artificial because she believes that real fir trees can pose a fire hazard. I mean, I don't know. I feel like this is still a fire hazard. It's definitely a lot of electricity pulsing through that house right now. And there's no way she's running all the wiring properly for this. I mean, how many things do you have fucking plugged in here? Each year, as more trees move in, some things have to move out, including Tom Including her husband. Fucking get out, dude. Tree laying in the bed beside her. <laughs> What are you gonna do? I mean, it's Christmas, so... GTFO, dude. Including Thomas's car, Baby. This is normally where we like to park our baby. He calls his car Baby? My guy, you're supposed to look like the stable one in the relationship. Now you're calling your car Baby. This is normally where we like to park our baby, and uh, but unfortunately right now we, uh, we're parking our trees out here, so I... Just kind of hoping that that would change. I have to take this fence up and move it out of the way. Every time that we want to drive the car. He's got to dismantle his fucking fence just to drive his car. And his wife's running around putting trees on the ceiling. I was told about her obsession with the Christmas trees by several of her friends when we first met, and, and she told me about it and warned me about it, but I, I was not uh, prepared for uh, the actual experience, the full-blown experience of it.
I mean, what's the big deal, right? Like, she's got some Christmas trees. She's got some lore going. She's having a good time. Clearly brings her a lot of joy. And honestly, if I had, like, knocked on the door to deliver a pizza, and she opened the door, and I saw 168 fucking trees behind her, <laughs> each of them immaculately decorated, one of them upside down, hanging from the fucking ceiling, I would be brought joy as well. The next video is called Tamara's ultimate goal is to live in a gingerbread house. <laughs> I feel like that would be not as fun as you would think. You know what I mean? Just one rainfall will fuck your whole shit up, dude. Icing is not going to hold the same as a nice screw through a stud. How to make a gingerbread house. Oh, this would be fun, Miss Ginger. We could let this be your house. Oh my god. Damn it, and I burned that whole bit about the last lady turning people into trees. <laughs> Clearly, there's more than one Christmas witch. She's turning people into gingerbread. <laughs> god damn it. I feel like I'm defined by my gingerbread collection. Lots of times when I meet folks on the street or whatever, they recognize me and they tell me, you're the gingerbread lady. Don't give me flowers. Don't give me chocolates. Give me a gingerbread. <laughs> flowers. Chocolate. Gingerbread. Give me a gingerbread. Try to give her flowers and she just fucking throws them on the ground. Is this some sort of fucking joke? Oh, am I the flower lady? Do you know me as the flower lady? You think I like chocolate, dude? You think that's my whole fucking thing? You ever seen... 85 fucking chocolate houses in my house? No, dude, I'll answer that right now. No, you haven't. Where's the gingerbread? Give me gingerbread or give me death. Mom's passion for gingerbread, I think, is a good thing. It's sweet, it's innocent, and it's not scary or freaky in any way. <laughs> it's not scary or freaky in any way. This lady looks like such a pleasant woman. She looks so nice, dude. She looks like a gingerbread cookie herself. I'm getting, I kind of understand the inspiration. She's got this like, posted happy face. This clock is really special to me. My daughter Tiffany gave it to me, and I think it's very cute. That is, all right, that's a cute clock. The way the fucking gingerbread guy came out, like he had something to fucking say. After just five years collecting gingerbread items, Tamara Holland of Alta Vista, Virginia, has amassed an 800 piece collection worth almost $3,000 and an all consuming passion for the popular Christmas treat. It's weird how she's only been doing this for like, what did they say, five years? Look, anybody can do whatever they want, have any hobby they want. It's just, you have to admit that if your mom, out of nowhere, just got like wholeheartedly 100% wrapped up in gingerbread, you'd be like, hey, mom, what happened? You know what I mean? You want to talk about it? This is, I mean, I love, I'm, I'm loving it because there's just a shit ton of cookies. I love cookies, but like, you're, you doing all right? <laughs> But on the other hand, like I do get it because gingerbread houses are adorable. Tell me that's not fucking cute as shit. It all started for Tamara when one very special gingerbread lady entered her life. This is Miss Ginger. She's my pride and joy. I found Miss Ginger at an antique store that was going out of business. And at the time she was on clearance. Who's Clarence? <laughs> It's a bad joke. Not worth it. Go. Hey, back to the video. I really don't have a way to describe the love that I have for Miss Ginger. I just know that I love her. She means so much to me. She's like part of my family. I mean, if somebody would come and offer me a million dollars for Miss Ginger, I would not let her go. No way. It's something so adorable about her taking this fucking gingerbread everywhere. This ginger lady. There's a lot of things that you can do with ginger. And sometimes I experiment. Well, I am a smoker, but I read somewhere that you could smoke ginger as a substitute for tobacco. The first thing I did was I chopped up some ginger root, put it in the sun to dry. 
Now I'm going to roll this into a cigarette. All right, Tamara. I see you. This lady's cool as fuck. She's out here smoking goddamn ginger blunts. Snoop Dogg in this shit the whole time, and I was out here. Oh, she's cute. She's fucking puffing fatties. <laughs> Someone's got to help her roll that, though. That was this poor lady. Let's... <laughs> Right now, my home's just a normal home. Not anything to do with gingerbread. What would really make this home become a gingerbread house? I just cover your house in candy. Do you like stucco? You know what I'm saying? Whether it's like broken glass or rocks or whatever the fuck. Do stucco, but instead it's like candy canes crushed up. Just spitballing ideas. Today, she's about to get one step closer to her dream. As she meets with a contractor to discuss the logistics, she brings Mike an edible visual aid so he can see the exact color she's looking for. This is what I want my house to look like. Okay. That's so fucking cute. You come out to the guy who's painting your house with a gingerbread. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for sort of a uh, this. So, or candy cane stucco, whichever. My mom's been staying with me while I had her gingerbread house painted and I snuck out super early this morning before she got up and did all the decorating for. Now I'm going to give her a big surprise. Oh gosh, here we go. Okay. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Damn, dude. I've never seen such a visceral reaction. <laughs> It's beautiful. Tiffany took the blindfold off and I actually saw my home. I can't explain to you how it made me feel. It was just so overwhelming. This looks sick, dude. I'm for this. I like the creativity. Where I mean, why is everybody's house gotta look exactly the same on the fucking street? I mean, sure, this might look a little weird in the middle of July. This is much better than every house looking exactly the same. Where's all the artists, dude? Where's all the wacky, zany, creative types? bringing down the property value of people's neighborhoods. <laughs> no, but for real, like, this rules. Is this what you thought it would look like? Uh, most definitely. It's what I visioned in my dreams. Our family to dish. Mm -hmm. To carry on the legacy. I never dreamed that she would consider carrying on one. God damn it. End it all sweet, cute. <laughs> Where's the cute counter on this video? I, you know, trying to make fun of stuff and they keep throwing out stuff that makes me feel all fucking warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> all right, one more video. The video is called Extreme Cheapskate Gives the Cheapest Gifts for Christmas. Oh, very festive. Oh my goodness. Cheap. <laughs> she too cheap to get a real Christmas stocking. Are you kidding? <laughs> Oh my god, this is the best thing ever, dude. That's so funny. Just a sock. The long black sock. It's not even the right color. Find a red one, dude. A green one. Literally even a white one would make more sense. Throughout the year, I take things from my family and they think that it's missing. Then on Christmas, I give it back to them as a gift. Why is she presenting the idea like she just fucking cracked the code <laughs> that we've all been waiting to hear for the finally of a Christmas life hack that I can get behind? Your whole fucking life hack is just theft. I got these nice shades that I got from Nisha throughout the year. She's going to be so happy to get them back. Shawnee's purse. She loved this purse, so I'm sure she's going to be so excited to see it appear back. Dude, you'd have such mixed emotions. You'd be excited to see something, and then you'd be like, why the fuck did you take this? I don't know whether to be happy or throw hands right now. But Sarah doesn't only want to repurpose old gifts. She also wants to buy her family something new. This is a joke. It's like a scrap metal place. Uh, here you go. Merry Christmas. It's... A used piece of rebar. Careful on the ends, they're jagged. Go have fun, you scamp. Go play in the snow with it. <laughs> I'm 
not a dump. The spirit of Christmas is giving, and you don't need new presents to feel that. See, the thing is, you just don't come here and get anything. You have to find some quality items. Come on, girl. Probably wear fucking gloves or something. Cut yourself on one goddamn rusty screw. Now you got tetanus. Merry fucking Christmas. All I want for Christmas is my tetanus shot. Oh, girl, alarm clock. It's amazing to me how people can throw good items out that are still usable. Oh, hell yeah. Fucking piece of shit uh, alarm clock probably doesn't work. Fuck yes, dude. Christmas is really turning around this year. Brand new. What is that? Uh, it might I don't be know. A it looked like. Table. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It's a foot a police. A foot police. <laughs> Okay. You just had me touch it with somebody nasty feet. I'm touch sure it's it. clean. Grandma would love this. Ew, dude. Please don't get that. I'm gonna give somebody something that some old person fucking rubbed their corns on all day. Some old guy fucking foot fungus and bunions. I'm sure it. it's clean. Why would it be clean? Why would you be sure that it's clean? Don't fucking clean shit before they throw it in the garbage, you psycho. Christmas shopping was a blast It was today. horrible. We found so many good deals. If Sarah came here for presents, I, you know what, I don't even want anything. Don't get me anything, Sarah. Fair, dude. Anything she gets you is probably gonna be, first of all, I guess either yours already or just more trash. You know, I'd rather get rid of some stuff than just have more trash laying around. Large nativity scenes can cost over $200, and Sarah is hoping to create hers without spending a dime. Joseph. What do we have here? Okay, so mm. I got Mary and Joseph. Found them around the house. Mm. <laughs> Fucking, all right, which one's which, dude? You calling Joseph a joker? Why, because he got cucked by God? Shit's not cool. Take it back. Hey, take it back. Well, Mary's a baby? You would have thought maybe the baby would be used for baby Jesus, but... You, I got you're gonna have to explain that to everybody because nobody's gonna know what that represents. The three wise men brought Jesus gold and, and, and treasures, and mm. that's what these trophies represent. Mm. Which one is Jesus? I'm so confused. He's not even in the picture. It's kind of like an important detail to the whole fucking nativity scene, but... It's not what I expected, but it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the fucking, it makes no sense. <laughs> it just looks like a bunch of stuff, just a bunch of junk on a table. Wrapping paper may cost about 50 to $100 for others, but it costs nothing for me. What? Who the fuck's ever spent 50 to $100 on wrapping paper? I literally bought two rolls of wrapping paper today, and it cost me $6. What kind of gold paper are you using that it would cost you $50 to $100? Unless you're like actually Santa Claus, he probably, let's be real, Santa Claus is probably spending a shit ton on wrapping paper, but that's the whole world. Every year, I load up a garbage bag with all the wrapping paper that we use, and I save it for the next year. With Sarah's reused gifts and wrapping paper, she spent only $20 on Christmas this year. What was the 20 bucks? Was that just in gas to get to the fucking dump? Because free wrapping paper, stolen gifts, and then stuff from the junkyard. She may have actually, like, somehow spent way too much money. I didn't think I'd say that, but I think she maybe could cut it down a little. <laughs> it's Christmas! It's Christmas! It's Christmas! It is Christmas! It's Christmas! It's Christmas! It's Christmas! I wonder if it's Christmas. <laughs> Alright, it's time for my gifts. Shiny. Great, let me see what my sister got me this yeah. year. Let's see. It's Sarah, you cannot be serious. I knew you were gonna love them. You were looking for them, right? Yeah, you knew I was gonna love them because I fucking loved them the first time I got them. You thief. What is this? Are you <laughs> I know you won't oversleep with that one. Merry Christmas! Did she at least like plug it in to make sure it fucking works? I mean, honestly, every year you'd have such low expectations from her gifts. 
<laughs> it almost doesn't even fucking matter. I guess it's the thought that counts. So in a weird way, like, at least you got a gift. It's just kind of like, would you rather no gift or like a real piece of shit gift? I've been looking for this purse for three months. And now you found it. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. What in the world is what that? Is it's the ultimate foot massager. Rest your feet on here, plug it up, and get a good old foot massage. How many feet been on that? Don't worry, it's clean. Close. Now what y'all got to say? Uh, you did a good job. I love my foot massager. I mean, look, it works. That's fucking sick. At least it works. Can't imagine that that feels that good but it works. So kind of a massive fucking win. I have one favor to ask you guys. Hit like, hit subscribe, ring the notification bell. Such a large portion of people who watch my videos are not subscribed and I'm thankful for every single one that I get. I gotta get out of here, hit the local dump because clearly there's some fucking treasures out there. A foot pleaser in this market? That's hard to find. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me guys. Always a blast until next time. Peace. Don't give me flowers. Don't give me chocolates. Give me a gingerbread.